I'm uh, Dr. Atul Verma. I'm the medical director of the Heart Rhythm Program at South Lake Regional Health Centre and also associate professor at the University of Toronto in Canada. I think that uh, electroporation has the potential to really revolutionize what we're doing in electrophysiology. Uh, I'm very proud to be working with this technology, and I really want to thank all my co-investigators and the team at Medtronic for designing this wonderful technology. It was a pleasure to present the Pulsed AF trial at uh, HRS Late Breaking. Uh, what differentiates uh, this technology from traditional point-to-point -point radio frequency is that it is called pulsed field ablation uh, or irreversible electroporation. So instead of using thermal energy like heat or freezing, we are using electrical fields, and when we expose them to the tissue, that opens up pores in the cells, which then leads to targeted cell death. So this is a non-thermal ablation. And we think that uh, this will offer many advantages over traditional point-to-point -point radio frequency. So the data that we're presenting for the Pulse AF trial are essentially the initial acute results of the trial. So we uh, were meant to evaluate 20 patients, uh, but we reported on 14 because the other six cases were deferred because of the COVID-19 crisis. Um, but what we showed was essentially the primary safety endpoint, which is whether there were any safety issues within the first 30 days, and the primary acute efficacy endpoint, which was the ability to isolate the pulmonary veins using the pulse field ablation only and no other technologies. I'm proud to say that when it came to safety, we certainly had no serious adverse events reported thus far in the trial. Uh, in particular, we think that pulse field ablation will have a better safety profile when it comes to phrenic nerve injury or esophageal injury. And certainly we saw no change in the esophageal temperature in the patients. And we also saw no phrenic nerve injury and there were no other serious adverse events reported at 30 days. And for the acute efficacy endpoint, we were able to isolate 100% of the pulmonary veins in the 14 patients using pulse field ablation alone and no other technologies. So obviously there is further research that needs to be conducted with uh, pulse field ablation. Uh, first of all, we're going to be following all of these patients out to one year and we will be reporting at, on one year efficacy and safety endpoints. Furthermore, we obviously need a larger trial with more numbers of patients. This was just the first in human feasibility trial and we hope to be moving into a much larger pivotal trial uh, very, very soon. 